your hair is too nappy for tape ins, bitch. And that's okay. Like, why are you getting tape ins? Bitch, do you think with your head? Really, like, you're too old to be critiquing Disney movies, bitch. Go to work. Hey y'all, it's Najee and I'm back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Unpopular Opinions video for this month. And I have a lot of stuff to talk about because as time goes on, shit just gets weirder and weirder with this era of human beings living on this earth. Like, it's just so many things that I have to talk about. And today's Unpopular Opinions video is going to be more about current events, things that are happening, going on in this world. And why I just don't fuck with people. Like, like this is like... I'm low-key excited to make this video just because I could just get to talk about what the fuck been going through my head about a, like a whole bunch of shit. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'm about to start the video. I'm not going to do too much intros because, bitch, I don't got time. So, like y'all know, I always write my unpopular opinions videos down in my notes, my unpopular opinions. Ooh, it's hot in here. I'm, I'm hot. My first unpopular opinion is I strongly feel like Twitter will be the end of Nicki Minaj. Like... Somebody get this woman off of Twitter. And I love Nikki. Like, I love Nikki. But the more she tweets, the more I get irritated by her. And I am a Nikki fan. Like, I love Nicki Minaj. Ask anybody I be around. They're going to be like, yeah, this bitch love Nicki Minaj. But as time goes on, I realize that shit that she does on Twitter is just weird. Like, I feel like it was better when she was just not addressing nothing and just was letting people guess. But now it's like she cast a comment on every little thing and it's just like, Nikki, you're not Cardi. Like, people literally talk about Cardi for doing the exact same thing. Like, and it's annoying. Like, it's annoying when Cardi does it. So why are you doing it? And it's just like, Cardi, Cardi, she been doing it. So that's her thing is just to go on Twitter and talk hella shit, be on Twitter, all that. But Nikki, that was not your thing. Like, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain what I'm talking about, but if you be on Twitter, you you just see Nikki. And sometimes, like, when I see Nikki post a tweet, it's just like, I roll my eyes. Because just stop talking. Please. I know that's your mom. But she just... But then again, it's just like, I want her to defend herself. But it's just like, you don't have to defend every little thing. Like, everything does not have to be addressed. I don't understand why she has to address every fucking thing. And I know I'm probably going to get some hate for this because the barbs sometimes are fucking delusional. And they don't like for people to talk about Nicki at all, but I honestly don't give a fuck. I am a Nicki fan. I just feel like she needs to hop her ass on Twitter sometimes. My next unpopular opinion is, this is not going to be an unpopular opinion for black people. I feel like all black people are going to agree with this, but let me finish. If you have a problem with the new Little Mermaid movie, like, you're literally delusional. Like, it's crazy, bitch. This is a fish. Like, why are you so... What, what? This is a fish, bitch. When you really sit back and think about it, you be like, this is a kid's movie. Why are we doing all this? Sit your old ass down. Sit down. You're 30. You don't even need, you don't need to be watching Little Mermaid, bitch. You're old as shit. Like, please, sit your old ass down. But anyway, I just feel like this. People have to find anything to talk about because Holly Bailey was just the best candidate. Like, it's nothing you can really talk about. If she couldn't sing, I could see why I like. But she can sing. She's pretty. She, like, she's different. Like, what are y'all, y'all want, what, what, what are y'all looking for? I don't understand. It's really like, you're too old to be critiquing Disney movies, bitch. Go to work. I think a lot of y'all want to cure your inner child. Bitch, you're grown. Like, nobody, that's not what the movie's meant to do. It's not meant to cure your inner, inner child, bitch. It's for kids. It's a Disney movie. You're old and grown and crusty and old. Go to work. If you're a grown-ass person and I see you upset about a Disney movie, I'm going to look at you some type of way. Like, bitch, what's, what's up? Like, grow the fuck up. Get you a life. For real. The problem is not her hair not being red enough, bitch. The problem is her skin being a little too dark for your liking. You're not used to seeing people this dark play characters such as the Little Mermaid. But again, you are too old to be complaining about this type of stuff. Get a life. Okay, this is my next unpopular opinion, and I feel like only black women are going to agree with this unpopular opinion, but I don't care who disagrees. Like, I'm always right. So, anyway, my next unpopular opinion is this. Ray J was not wrong for exposing Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian, whatever little weird ploy they have. And I'm going to tell y'all why. And don't get me wrong, I fuck with scams. Black women are the only women who truly see through Kim Kardashian. It's like Kim Kardashian has this weird spell over 
all races except for black women. Like everybody loves her except for black women. Like we all see through this bitch. Like I seen a lot of people say, why would he do that? I feel so bad for her. He's like evil. What would like, no, no, he's not evil. Like I don't understand. Like I, it's, this was something that they both agreed on. So it's like when I seen people constantly bashing Ray J for years and years and years and years, I see no problem with him exposing this bitch. This spills over into my next unpopular opinion. The shade room is just bad. Like, the shade room has gotten so, so, so bad. Like, they always put in their caption, we do not condone bullying and all this and that. Bitch, you are the bully. Like, y'all are literally the reason people get killed. Like, the shade room actively allows their comments to bully people. The comments are literally full of 40-year-old black aunties that ain't got shit else to do. They hate their lives, they hate their kids, they hate their husband, they hate their baby daddy. And they get on the shade room and talk about celebrities for like hours and hours and hours. And bitches say it. Like get you something better to do. My next unpopular opinion is this. If I see you recording a crazy ass white lady and you ain't doing nothing, bitch, I lose so much respect for you. Like why are you letting this white bitch get all in your face like this? Call you all these names. Just degrade your black ass. I just feel like if it's anything you gonna go to jail about, it's that. Don't let these white motherfuckers play with you. I don't understand why y'all get on the internet, record this bitch, and just have the phone. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bitch, if you don't snuff her one time, I just feel like if you want that white people get up in your face talking to you crazy, don't even post a video, because it's going to irritate me, because I would hit the bitch. I wouldn't even let her get close. But you let her get all, all up in your personal space, all in your 10 feet, all in your breathing air space? It couldn't be me. And the videos irritate me so much, because it's just like, one white bitch, does this to you now all the white bitches don't think they could do this to her by but it's just like the shit never happened to me and i want the shit to happen to me so i can show them i can teach it because bitch i'm gonna record i'm gonna hit you but it's just like if you're gonna if you're not gonna do nothing to this little white bitch don't record the video like am i tripping am i am i tripping like if you if you're not gonna hit her one time don't record my next unpopular opinion is this if you are a woman and you get on the internet and bash other women for anything, bitch, you're weird. Why are you worrying about if this bitch keep going on vacations but she really ain't got no money? Why are you worrying about if she ain't paying her bills? Why are you worrying about how many baby daddy she got? Why are you worrying about if she keep having kids but the baby daddy ain't work, ain't, 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 ain't there in the kid's life? Why is that your problem? Like, I don't under, like, I don't, I don't understand. If you're a woman and you bash another woman for anything, knowing how hard it is for women, especially black women, you're a weird ass bitch. Like, I feel like it's very easy for black women to bash other black women. Just like how bitches with short nails think they superior. Bitch, you're not. You're not superior. Bitch, you're regular. Bitch, we all black. Nobody, like, I don't understand, bitch. Uh, short nails don't make you classy, bitch. The way you act makes you classy. Like, nobody's looking at you and like, that's a classy ass bitch. I feel like a lot of black women have image problems. Y'all want to look a certain way when you're really not that way. Like, 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 let's talk about it. It's really an impression problem. Y'all really do not love yourselves. Why do you feel like you have to be classy when you really, you bitch, you know you love long nails, you know you love weave, bitch, you know you, your hair is too nappy for tape-ins, bitch. And that's okay. Like, why are you getting tape-ins? Why are you getting tape-ins and your hair is nappy as shit? My hair is 4 as fuck. Do you think I'm ever going to waste my money on $900 tape-ins, bitch? Bitch, put that wig on and go about your business. Get them braids and go about your business. You're setting us back. Women who make this big perception of being classy, you're setting black women back. Do you know that like when you sit up here and post white nails, white toes, no long nails, short nails, leave outs, bitch, you're setting us back. I want y'all to realize that you can do something without bashing other people. I don't think y'all understand it. I really don't think y'all understand it. You can wear your short nails and your leave out without bashing women who wear braids and long ass fuck me nails. Like I don't understand. Nobody cares about your veneer nails, bitch. Nobody gives a fuck. Wear your nails and go about your business. Stop talking about us, bitches, who like long ass, long to the thong hoe nails. Okay, my next topic is like a touchy subject, but I really felt like I wanted to speak on this because like a lot of y'all on the internet are really weird and I don't think y'all comprehend how weird the stuff that y'all do actually is and how it like affects people. So obviously we all know that P&B Rock died, you know R.I.P. 
it fucked me up when he died, bitch. That was my middle school. I'm not lying. Like, on God, like, when celebrities die, I don't, like, it's not like I don't really care, but it's like, I don't really know y'all like that. Like, it's like, it's sad, but it's like, I don't really know you. But with PB Rock, it was just like, bitch, I was listening to this nigga 7th, 8th, 9th. Like, when I think about his music, I think about a better time in my life. So, that's why I'm like, it's kind of like, it's th that's why y'all kind of fucking me up with y'all conspiracy theories. Where I'm getting at is, if you really got on the internet and went under his girlfriend's comments or made a video or made a tweet about how his girlfriend set him up or how his girlfriend got somebody to kill him, the woman that he has two kids with and that he's been with for I don't know how long, set him up to kill him, I'm genuinely looking at you some type of way. My thing is this. This man was on the ground bleeding lifeless. And y'all decided the first thing y'all wanted to do, instead of praying, instead of giving him your prayers, instead of, you know, giving your condolences, you decided to give him the internet and bash his girlfriend. You didn't even say R.I.P. before you bashed his girlfriend. You don't see how that's a little bit weird? Like, I just, I, I'm trying to get the people to understand because I know it was a lot of people who talked about his girlfriend and it was really concerning for me because it was just like why do we all feel this way not we y'all not me because i never felt that way i always felt bad for his girlfriend like because i knew that this this was going to happen people are weird why does your mind go automatically to this girl set him up the girl that he has two kids with set him up like and then it's like y'all are sending her death threats get a life like get a life like you have nothing better to do than to send this girl death threats. I think that is so weird. Like, bitch, do you think with your head? Like, for real. Like, I'm trying, like, I'm really trying to comprehend whether or not y'all think with y'all brain. With that being said, if I see anybody post anything upsetting or bad about PNB Rock's girlfriend, I automatically unfollow you. Because I autom I like, I feel like you're weird. Like, I feel like you're weird. Like, especially if when he just died and you post and she set him up. That showed, like, what? Also, another thing about PNB Rock's death. Why would y'all sit up here and reshare a video of somebody literally dying? He literally was dying. Like, I don't think y'all understand how weird that is. Like, nobody's family member should be scrolling on Twitter and see their son, cousin, brother, nephew getting shot. Like, that's not something regular to post. What is wrong with y'all? Who raised y'all? Like, I want to speak with your mother. I want to speak with your mom. Ma Dukes, I got to talk to her because she did something wrong. I think that's it for my unpopular opinions today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I love y'all so much. And I will be back to y'all next month with another set of unpopular opinions. Bye.